My video for May the 11th, 2020 is video number 3,451. The title is, The Purpose of Life is to Die Over and Over Again. Some teach that there is no death, not really. We simply move from one plane of existence to another. Furthermore, they say it's all happening at once. Both past lives and future lives are just an illusion. Maybe you can get your mind around that, but I cannot. It's insane to me. Of course, the present circumstance in which we find ourselves is crazy too. Many are aware that something is wrong. As long as everything was normal, we did not even stop to think. What is life really about? That's a good question and that I hope more and more people are asking. But for me, if it's all just an illusion for entertainment purposes only, why do we bother at all? Given a real choice, I would choose to never exist at all. I wasn't given that choice, neither were you. So where is God in all of this? If this all at once scenario is true, life has no actual meaning other than a perverted plan of some creator, some master of deception. Not only have I been deceived, we all have. As has long been the case, I wrestle with difficult questions. I've always thought since I was a little kid that I was here on a mission. I had a purpose. And by the way, I'm recording this on the 10th here in the United States. It's Mother's Day. It's also my youngest granddaughter's birthday today. She's in high school now. And uh, every once in a while, the Mother's Day and her birthday fall on the same day as it has happened this year. And I do plan on going and uh, who knows if there's going to be a party or not. My daughter only gets in touch with me when she needs something like a ride for one of the kids or something. Anyway, be that as it may, I would like to think, as I keep on saying, that, that things really do matter. <laughs> that what we do in life has benefits or consequences. Yet I look at the world and Rockefeller just died at what, 102 or 103 years old, supposedly. He was a horrible man. And so are the Rothschilds and others that we call the Cabal or the New World Order. Uh, it's all just a grand deception, as I see it, from looking at them, them, they. But there are no they, according to this. We are all one. Everything is one. There's only God, and God was bored. So we were created. <laughs> is that true? I don't know. That's the problem, you see. We don't know. We question. But many people, obviously, or at least so it seems, do not question. They just exist from one day to another. They don't live their life as if there is meaning to it all. They do live in the moment. Uh, some would say, well, that's a good thing. They're not like you. They're not obsessed with some goal. But yet the dark forces have generationally had a goal of controlling the whole world. But what is the world? If it's all just a game, if it's all happening now, what's it all about? You know, I struggle. I struggle with these. I try to reach out and help, especially those that are hurting. 
I wish I could do more. I'd like the RV to become a reality. I'd like to be blessed with funding so that I could uplift those that have been downtrodden. I'd like to activate and participate in humanitarian projects that level the playing field for the underclass. But the true underclass, as I see it, are the ones that are in charge. It's perverted. It's inside out and upside down. It's a masquerade, a charade, a game, and a very sick game at that. A game where the loving God is actually the biggest demon. Is that true? I would hope it's not true. Yet, as I experience life and I see people struggling like my friend in Africa who's running the orphanage and has his garden <laughs> uprooted at night and all of their crops that they feed the children with, all of the crops are taken. I'm trying to raise money for them. And thankfully, there's been, what, five people that have donated so far? And yet I have friends, spiritual community friends, who keep calling that a scam and saying, take care of people where you are. Don't worry about people on the other side of the world. But I see the whole world as one world, not a, a one world order or a new world order, but as people that are all interconnected. And some of them are struggling with situations that obviously they had no control over. My friend who runs the orphanage, his mom died at childbirth and, and he was placed on a rubbish heap. She did, could not afford to go to the doctor. And he was rescued. He was rescued by Rosemary who took care of him till she died and had to end his education. And he began taking care of other children that were in similar circumstances as he had been in. Motherless, fatherless, homeless. But somehow he survived. Somehow we have all survived to this point. But then death is not real. But if death is not real, neither is life. Nothing is. It's all just a sick game, a perverted game by who knows what creator really is. Obviously, the jealous God is a fake God. I was deceived by that throughout my life. Even though I had a program, Be Not Deceived, and I still thought that the Bible was really the word of God. Well, if I had been really intelligent like I thought I was, I would have realized that even the Bible says, let us make man in our own image. Okay, that's the English translation in the King James Version that I memorized. Who are the us? It's not a single God. It's a group of demons as I see it now. It's crazy. It's crazy. Jeff Doherty, who I watch periodically, I mean, he goes on to explain a lot of things and he was a minister who also got to the point where he questions what he was taught. And yet he uses the Bible to show the deception as I would at this point in time. So anyway, I'm trying my best to be loving, to be caring. I want to be able to help and realize that my life really does have meaning. Thank you for listening and namaste.